Okay, I said I wasn't going to say shit about that. Since I haven't started my live stream yet, then I'll go ahead and invent this shit now. What did we say last time? We didn't even gonna talk about this. But this shit is everywhere. <laughs> this shit going to end up in the shirt. I wasn't even going to talk about this nigga. But this shit is everywhere. This nigga Kanye West, boy. Yeah, for my explanation, click the link. Like I was saying, this nigga Kanye is disturbed. A lot of people are... You know, this ain't about bashing him or anything. I'm not gonna joke on this man. This nigga, no, I told you this nigga got teacups everywhere. Though. I told y'all niggas Kanye got teacups all over his motherfucking house, and nobody wanted to listen to me. But nah, and some of you stupid motherfuckers actually was gonna vote for this nigga. That's that's what I want y'all to sit there and think about. I'm gonna give y'all a minute because I'm gonna say shit about this nigga. I told you I was not even gonna say nothing about this nigga. The other niggas gonna come up later. Either his wife is hiding his pills on purpose because if the whole family knows this nigga Kanye's nuts, how the fuck y'all gonna leave this nigga, let this nigga leave the house without a hammer? Somebody has to be in the family's best interest. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is supposed to, y'all supposed to be a power couple. I don't know if they're deliberately letting this nigga spaz out for attention because, you know, in Hollywood, all controversy is publicity. You know, it's all a form of marketing, which is some bullshit. Some people call it selling their soul. Some people call it selling out. He married into that family. Now, the question is, would he still be crazy as he is now? Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I told you that nigga was nuts. So this nigga's just been going around having fits. I can't believe I said, first of all, you are never supposed to see a grown man cry. If I ever cry on my platform, you cancel me. The only reason I'm supposed to cry is maybe me and my wife shit, you know, we trying to teach with our stories. That's the only time we're prouder than that. You're not supposed to be in the middle of a club around all these people. And the dude behind you that looks like he's your handler, but he's scared to snatch your ass up because all the cameras is on. Look at the position you put this nigga. I said I wasn't going to talk about That's who I feel sorry for. The black dude that stood behind him the whole time. This nigga drooling and shit on himself. What the fuck? I said I wasn't going to talk about this. I mean, certain people shouldn't have live mics. Trump, Kanye, me. The certain people shouldn't have live mics because they say fucked up shit. This nigga, y'all yeah, was going to vote for his ass. Now I'm talking to everybody that's on my Facebook page. Y'all yeah, was going to vote for this nigga. Not everybody. But I had a good 10 of y'all niggas that was popping up. Oh, that's who I'm getting my vote. Nigga, y'all ain't never voted. And now your first time voting, you want to vote for this. I'm not calling people stupid. I teach people that you never call people stupid. You don't call them stupid face. But we treat everyone like they're stupid. We just never tell them. Because we want everybody to be comfortable. Everybody is catered to and taken care of. That's the only way to keep friction down and everybody's palm is up. We just say it. Never call people stupid. Never say you couldn't treat them that way. Do, 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 do. Just say. Uh...